was reminded recently of a, like a 12th century poem that Scott Frank quotes in Godless on Netflix, which is not horror, but kind of. Um, that opens, uh, it's a fearful thing to love what death can touch. And I'm curious as people and as writers, what fearful things resonate with you um, and in horror and uh, specifically with your characters? Interesting enough, um I, I'm, I'm always uh, fascinated in, in film and in novels and stories overall when uh, one person's expectation of how the world or an event or relationship is meets up with the actuality of what it really is. Like, I think the world is just, and then you meet the reality that it's not just. Or I think my spouse is faithful, <laughs> and, then, and then not. Or even just sort of the strange belief, I'm immortal. Uh, so I think when my fact that I am like a black woman, in the world and it's a lot of it's like body horror like having something inside me that i am unable to control and i did not invite in or even like my personal space i.e my home um that is constantly terrifying to me it's like i recently just moved and like i had to get a security system for the first time it's like listening to another woman who like down the street like her home invasion which was very quick but like it was captured on camera uh, and she was showing it to me, and it's like they just, you know, broke the windows and, like, came in, and, like, it was a smash and grab, but I'm just like, oh, God, this was down the street from me. This is down the street from me. What's going to happen to me? And, then, like, you know, planting various blunt objects around my house just in case I have to, like, grab something. I am a very, like, personal thing. I have my space. Do not invade my space unless I invite you in. So those are the kind of horrors that, like, keep me up at night. A college, you know, privilege scene but if it's an African-American, it takes on a whole other context of horror, potentially, unfortunately, because of the real world we live in. It was a revelation um, because like, I finally had a movie that I could point to when I am pitching my own things to producers. It's like, see? <laughs>